Hey everyone, I am going to walk you through my uh, 2016 uh, baseball spreadsheet tool. Now if you had uh, my last year's one, this is very similar. I, I made a few improvements and uh, there's a couple changes, but overall it, it, it works and looks uh, pretty similar. So, uh, so let's go. We start off here on this main tab. And the first time you get it, you're going to want to put your username and password if you're, um, if you're a new user. Um, if you've been using my other spreadsheets, you can just um, put the same username and password in, and it should work. But if, you, um, if you're a new user, you press refresh logins just the first time to initiate the spreadsheet, and then it, it's good going forward. And then every morning, what you're going to do, you're going to start off by pressing refresh stats. Or you, you, this is pull, all pull, pulling data from, um, from the web, so a lot of this data gets updated maybe midnight the night before. So you can even do your research uh, the night before. Which uh, which could be helpful for a lot of people that work during the day and don't have uh, don't have the time. Here's the different uh, objects you can pull in. Normally, the first thing in the morning you're gonna want to press have yes for all of these, and it's gonna pull everything in. Uh, the biggest one is this uh, advanced splits stats. This is one probably overall this will take about two minutes to pull in in the morning. The split stats probably takes about a minute alone just to pull in. So once you do it once, you don't have to do it anymore throughout the day. Uh, if you want to pull in the, the salaries and the stats. That's the important one that you, you want to have. The lines are just the um, the, the uh, odds, like the over under and the and the lines uh, for the win the win loss. The weather obviously can change, so you might want to pull that throughout the day. And the batting order, obviously, this is the biggest one that you might want to put all these as no and just pull in the batting order uh, when it comes closer to game time, and that'll pull bring in the batting order into the into the stats page. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna press refresh. I'm not gonna do that now. I already did that this morning, and because um, it'll take about two minutes to go through everything, it'll pull in all the information. You're gonna get all the, the today's games, get the, um, the the stats, the time, and uh, I'll get into this include in a second. So here's all the games. Then over here, you, it's gonna populate these tabs: the batters tab and the pitcher tab. The uh, batter tab obviously just gonna have all the hitters. Uh, it's gonna have their FanDuel information their uh, DraftKings information and then it's going to go over here if once the lineups come out it'll tell you where in the lineup they are here's your opposing pitchers um, here it's still got I've still got the last year's stats in here since it's still early in the season but as the season goes on I'll, I'll move those over uh, the stadium the uh, game times we got the uh, then here's more of the over under the more of the weather Better for his pitcher information, uh, and then here's just more advanced stats. I mean, split stats for how they do at home, uh, away, the, uh, the opposing pitcher, and then here's all the pitcher stats too. It's the same same type of things. Um, we got advanced stats, and you can go through this. I'm not going to go through every uh, every category here, but you can uh, go through it and uh, check out everything. Got there's tons of stats. There's about 50 to 75 categories of stats for each one. So once you have that, you're going to want to go back to the main tab. To run lineups, you're going to run lineups from this multi-lineup tab. Right now it's populated, but after you first run it, run the refresh, this, this will be blank. So you're going to want to go in and transfer players. And what this is just going to do is, these are the games that you want to include. Like you might just want to be playing the late games. So you're going to put change these all to no. And you can put all these down to no, and maybe you just want these couple games here as yes. You're going to click transfer players and then it's going to bring over just the players from those teams that have yes into the multi lineups here. And then here is where you're going to run the lineups. You can, uh, you got all the players here, it's usually the pitchers at the front and then um, here's the batters. First you can uh, decide if you want to I for include. If you put include they're definitely going to be in your lineups. E for exclude then you're not, they're not going to be in any lineups. Or you can put a number from 10 to 90. That represents a percentage of how many lineups this player is going to be in. So say if you put 30, then uh, Scherzer should be in roughly 30% of your lineups. I mean, it's not it's not going to come out exactly. If you run 10 lineups, he's not going to be exactly be in three. I mean, he could, but it's just it's just um, roughly. And it, wor it will work out. If you do 100 lineups, he'll come out to close to 30. He'll be in 30 lineups. So you're going to fill that in all the way down if you, if you want to, or you can just run it wide open. And there's information here to uh, populate. If there's a team you want to stack, you can uh, populate that there. How many you want to stack? 
Um, here's the lineups. How many lineups do you want to run? You can run up to 200 lineups. Uh, here, which projections do you want to use? You can use the average, which is just the average score that, um, that they've done. Or you can use our projections or your, your projections. Uh, the tolerance is um, low or high. Basically, what Solver does, Solver just runs through hundreds of thousands of lineups at a time when it, run, when it does this. If you put high, that just means it's going to run through maybe 500,000 lineups. If you put low, maybe it'll run through 300,000 lineups. So there, when you put a high, it's just going to take a little longer, but you, you're going to get maybe a, a few more lineups with the higher, higher scoring guys. I mean, I do low because it's still going to give you great out, outcome and it, it's a little quicker, but it, it's up to you. I would experiment with both. Um, constraint site limits, that's really just... Like for FanDuel, how you can't have more than four players on a team. If you're running like ten teams, you don't. You could just leave this as no, because this takes a little longer. If you put, if you change this to yes. If you're only running like out of th maybe three three games, you might want to change this to yes, because then uh, there's less players to choose from. It's more likely that that all, I mean, more than four players from a certain team is gonna come up. But you could always do this as no, and then when you when you get your lineup output, if you see a lot of players uh, come from the same team you just rerun it and just change this to yes then and the last one is only include those in your starting lineup right now we don't have anyone in the starting lineup because it's still early in the morning so you want to keep that as no but if you um, if you're doing this closer to game time you can change this to yes and then it's only going to include people in the starting lineup so you don't have to worry about checking lineups to see if this guy's actually playing or not and then here's the variance is the um, just the difference between each lineup. So you're running 10 lineups and the first lineup your score is 200. The next lineup will be 199 or, or less based on this variance. But you can put whatever you want. You can do 0.1, you can do a 5 and you can change that around. It just depends. Like if you do 0.1 then your your second lineup will be very similar to your first lineup. But if you do a 5 then it's more likely there's going to be more changes. So that kind of describes the multi lineup. Here you can run a FanDuel lineup or run a DraftKings lineup. Once you run a lineup you're going to get thrown to here. These are going to be all your lineups. See, I just ran six lineups. And see here, the score was 224, and the next one 222, and then 219, 218, and so on. It's got all the players, all the positions, the team, and uh, and so on. And uh, there should be a, a number that's popping up here. I'm not sure why it's not popping up, but when if you see a number that, that comes in here in, in the future that's just going to be where in the bi banning order they are actually it's not coming up now because no lineups are actually in but once you have lineups in the uh, lineup is where in the order banning order they're coming up so you can see like you might have all guys at the top of the lineup or bottom of the lineup or wherever and you can check that out once you have this you can create an injury report which most likely they I mean if they're in this, especially if they're starting lineup they're not going to be an injury report but um, this will pull in if a guy happens to be hurt, have an injury status, it'll show up here. And the uh, last thing you can do is um, the projections. There's two ways you can put in your projections. Our projections um, will run automatically. Your projections you can do either two ways. Here's one where you can change uh, the different calculations. Like It's pretty much build your own uh, projection algorithm. Like here for better projections, like what was the batter's Woba in the last seven games? basically saying, okay, if it was 50% above their season average, that means they're hot, they're hitting good. What do you want to increase their, their projection by? Right now I have it set at 20%, you can change it to whatever you want. And so on. If they're below 40%, that means they're on a cold streak, they're slumping. So you might want to drop their projection down because they're probably not going to do as well. The same thing here, what's their OPS at home or away? They might be a very good home hitter, but not good on the road. So we adjust it here. And there's a whole bunch of different categories. We get the over-under. If it's high over-under, it might be like maybe they're playing in Colorado when it's an 11 for over-under. You want to bump up their projections. So there's a whole bunch of different uh, items you can change for the batters. And the same thing goes for the pitchers. You can uh, fill all this in, change this. And then once you're done, you click Update Batters and Pitcher Projections. Okay, we do you want to see that. Um, okay, so that's just a little bug, which I'm, I'll am i fix. So once you press this, what it's going to do, it's going to send you back to the batter and pitchers tab, and it's going to populate this uh, your projections, which it did before. 
And then uh, once you have this, all you're going to have to do after you run that is go back to main, you transfer your players, and it's going to fill in those projections right here. So then all you'd have to do is you change this. If you want to run on your projections, go to yours and run it. And um, then you're going to run lineups based off of your projections. So that's how you can, one way you can do your projections. The other way is just in this your projections tab by just manually uploading players' names. You can uh, you might get projections from another site. Maybe you pay for that site and um, you just want to use those projections. You can copy and paste the players' names in here with their projection. And if the player's name comes up, then it's fine. If it shows the word error, then that means that player, you, there's either a spelling issue or they're not in the banners tab. Like the banners tab is only showing uh, players that are actually playing today. So that could be the, could be the reason. Or like see how uh, Lorenzo Cain, it's coming up okay. But if, uh, if it happened to be spelled wrong, see it would, it would be an error. So you might have to go in and change it. And then once you have all these, you know, put update your projections, and it's going to update the uh, the same thing. It's going to update it in here, and then you go back to the main tab to transfer it over to the multi lineups. And that's pretty much everything. I got a tab here that's called instructions, which obviously just tells you, gives you written instructions on how to do this and how what some of the um, different cells mean. And that should be it. I know there's there's a couple little issues with the projections. I'll fix that. It's no big deal. But I want to get this out there so everyone knows how to use this. Thanks a lot.